Welcome back, everybody. We've got more 1v1 solo championship action here from TI4. I'm God, joining me is Merlini, and we have got S4 versus Ice Ice Ice, the reigning champion from the 1v1 championship, playing over on the Dire side. He's on Team Havost, apparently. As for S4, he's uh, going to be playing on the Radiant side. Puck versus Puck is going to be our game one. S4 going for a Boots first, and Ice Ice Ice, both players Boots first. Ice 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 actually scouts him out from the high ground. Some very unconventional meta coming out. Ice 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 is, I would say, going courier hunting right now, because he is trying to figure out exactly what's going to actually find each other here. Ice 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 is going to start right-clicking away, phase shift level one. Boots first. For S4. Both boots first. Seconds what is this battle. nonsense? I, I don't know. Ice what? Ice Ice, he's... He is really cheeky, though. I remember the Axe vs. Axe matchup. He creep skipped at level one. In between oh, he's, he's, he's going to draw the aggro around. Is that what the plan is? I'm not exactly sure what his plan is. Oh. It won't really matter that much, because neither of them had an advantage when it comes to CS. Like, yeah. no no one has a no talisman, so if they're both trying to CS under the tower, it's going to be the same thing. Well, the... <laughs> Take tower. You do not want to get hit by that tower, so he quickly gets the, uh, the, the face shift begins. up. So One tanker already eaten by Ice Ice Ice. Already starting his trolling ways. You said you're looking forward to him. I'm like, you t say how he likes to troll. There's some fun matchups. I'm like, oh, puck versus puck. Like how how he, he has a surprise be, factor. But... I think that's why he won last year. Yeah, it's, it's because he does weird stuff that you never see on a one on one. I just can't believe they both got boots first. Like, it, it's almost like they conspired to do this. Ice 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 doesn't creep block as well, so he just flat out loses. A will draw aggro off, and that means his range creep will die pretty fast. So it's not the end of the world for him. Ah, he, he's recovered quite well from that, yeah. actually. So, two of his groups are already dead, as opposed to only one. Alrighty, well, uh, he'll pull it back to his tower even. Should be able to get this last hit under tower as well. And yeah, uh, it's an interesting start, that's for sure. Very different from what we saw out of Arteezy and Dendi in our first quarterfinal. This is just game one of our second. Quap versus Quap going to be the game two, and if needed, game three, SF versus SF. Here at yeah. CI4. I think Boots vs. Boots is a lot more about finesse. You're trying to like edge in one right click harass, but that's actually much more common in other matches because you if you make not. slight mistakes in Puck vs. Puck, like you trade one harass for nothing, you can just face shift it and then you're, you reset back yeah. to zero. So I feel like Boots vs. Boots isn't actually that important in this. Maybe if you want to contest runes or something like that, it will be a lot more important. Yeah, well, uh, first rune going to be spawning in 40 seconds' time. There's no zero minute rune in the uh, 1v1 format. And uh, we'll see what they look to go. S4 so far leading the CS by a good margin, which means he probably should be getting his bottle out much quicker. 7 CS to the 3 of Ice Ice Side. This is a big lead for the Alliance Swedish solo mid player. S4 isn't very aggressive though. As you can see, he's almost always on his hill. So if Ice 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 yeah. wants to attack him, he's going to have to attack through the phase shift and uphill, which is just a losing proposition. He's going Null, null Talisman instead of the bottle. He's sitting on full HP and full mana, so I guess you look at that and say, well, what's he getting bottled for? He doesn't need the regen just yet. Maybe to, well, to bottle up a rune. Yeah, but... if you store up a rune, it's, yeah. you can almost guarantee yourself the next rune with it. Okay. Well, we'll see uh, the Null Talisman arrive, and I imagine he goes back for a bottle at some point. He's going to orb down and uh, Ice 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 manages to phase shift dodge. Me. It gets a deny or two, but it's 12 CS to 4 right now. Yeah. This is a brutal start. For ice, ice, ice. It is indeed. And this is oh, S4 trying to harass under tower, and neither player has checked the two minute rune. It is an illusion rune spawning on top lane, and ice, ice, ice actually going for a sage's mask. Which, if you want regen, you generally go for a bottle. If you want to push a lane, you go for a Bassy. So I would assume he's going for a Bassy. Yeah. Puck out! Bassy ringing kind of acts a similar way to Null Talisman that gives you good damage. Uh, you don't get the other stats, the HP. Know. But yeah, Null Talisman is far better. It's less. It, it's less uh, gold and it actually gives you a Slightly lot more, more damage. Yeah. Well, it gives you a lot more HP yeah. too, so yeah. you don't get bursted down. We'll see uh, the Bassering coming out now. So Ice Ice Ice, recognizing he needs something to help him out. Just something to mix it up here in this one v one matchup. S four, uh, similar on levels here. So even though he's dominating the CS, Ice 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 can always go for kills. Is the other thing here. Yeah, I, I think that the Bassy is far more useful like 8 minutes onwards when you're actually getting damage on a tower and when the leveling damage from Illusory Orb and Waiting Rift start to level out and you're relying a lot more on right clicks because right now the armor is not terribly useful. Yeah. If you get hit by tower you just face shift it and you're not actually going to be taking that much damage. I think it's more if you go for a kill and you're trading right clicks. Like we saw that a lot in the Dendi vs Arteezy where they trade right clicks when they the kills do happen. You stand your ground and fight and that's where the plus 3 armor could make a difference because mm -hmm. his physical damage resistance 26%, S4 sitting on 17%. But so. at the same time, 
uh, S4 already has one armor from the stats that he's gotten, and he has a lot more HP to compensate for that, so I would say it's still a wash. Okay. Well, uh, for now, S4 still uh, leading the CS. He's got 900 gold. Is this going to be like a phase boot? So what do you think he wants to buy with all this gold that he stored up? I'm not actually sure. I think a bottle is pretty standard. Um, you, if you really want to play it safe, you can get a TV scroll too. You drink coils, you just TP out, and you're almost assuredly going to live. But there's not really a good reason to save up gold. There's not like any game-changing items. Like Blink is actually pretty useless in a one-on-one. Dagon. Dagon. <laughs> Dagon's pretty good. Um, I've seen people get Orchid. Orchid's pretty good. Um, there are a lot of options. You can get Treads early. You can yeah, get Phase he's... early. You can get. He's uh, gone for the treads, it looks like. I've seen Yules, I've seen Necros, I've seen HOD, I've seen a lot of different builds in Puck on Puck, but at, at, at least after your bottle you can go with those items, but usually you just get bottle control runes and then go from there. Yep. I say, I say, Sice on the meanwhile is going to be going for, looks to be some more Nal Talismans, well, his first Nal Talismans, as well as some extra regen, so brings out some Tangos, wants the, uh, the cir Circlet as well, S4. Treads up, and he can use this to tread swap a bit quite fairly efficiently. No, neither player going for runes, neither player getting bottles just yet, so... I mean, you do miss out a little bit on, like, maybe some last hitting opportunities if that happens. He could go for a Curious Snipe here, not gonna go in, though. If you go for that, you probably pay for it with your life, so... Yeah, especially since Ice has just hit level 6. But as for a more conservative player, he with Strength Treads, he has 815 HP, and he's also gone for the 3 one, one. Ice Eyes is going for the far more aggressive build with the 1-3-1, one, one, and his CS is going to suffer as a result. So it is, the longer and longer the game drags on, the worse and worse it is for Ice Eyes. I think he needs to get a kill, or at least put significant amounts of pressure on S4 in the next like couple of minutes, or else S4 is just going to run away with that amount of gold that he's accrued. It feels like S4 realizes the only way he's winning the CS, the only way he loses is if Ice 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 kills him. That's where he goes for the treads, because it gives him a lot of bonus HP. Even picks up a magic wand. Killing him right now with strength treads, magic wand, be like, upgraded he, to get plus three. He has to tank tower yeah. or like tank Ice Ice Ice's DD or something very significant, or miss one of his spells in order for him to lose a man fight at this point. It's where I'd like to see Ice 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 get a bottle just so he could get runes. I feel like for Ice 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 to win right now, he needs to almost get like a haste plus a DD rune at the same time and then go for a kill with like a double oh, rune. I, I just don't see him... He's not going to win a War of Attrition and he's not going to be able to really get a kill without something unorthodox. It just depends on how S4 wants to go for the win condition though. It's either yeah. kill Ice 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 like under his tower once he's gotten a medium amount of farm, maybe once he's gotten a lot of farm, or just push down his tower with a Bassy of his own. Um, I've seen players get mech and try and push down the towers. All well, these are valid options for him. He just has to decide which one is best for him in this situation and which one is going to work the best for his eyes, eyes, eyes. Come on. As it stands, S4 now going to go high ground with an ult here, he's going to call, he's going to go for the kill here, Ice 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 maybe needs to all out, he's going to hold his ground now, recalls backwards, Waning Rift is there as well, Ice 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 ult forward, he may get the kill, no, S4, Waning Rift, 1 no. HP, he dies in the end, GG is called. That was a very valiant effort by Ooh. Ice Ice Ice, it was a good place for him to stand, it was right under the guise yeah. of his tower, and again, he had to make a move in the next couple of minutes or else he was just going to fall way too far behind. He really baited him, like he made it look like he was like kind of trapped in the core, and then he turned it around, used everything, almost comes out on top. That was, was really close. I think, did he have a magic stick on it? I don't think so. I think if he had a magic stick, he actually would have won that. Um, but at the same time, he had a limited amount of gold. But still, very fantastic play from Isis. I think the level 3 silence actually caught S4 off guard significantly. Yes, yeah. I don't know, was he on the strength treads as well there at the end? It didn't... It, yeah. It, okay, so, I think so he yeah. did have the bonus HP. Even with that, even with the magic wand, he still almost goes down, so... Uh, it was a good finish, and uh, we'll get ourselves into game two. Queen of Pain versus Queen of Pain, S4 versus Ice 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 in the TI4 1v1 Championship. Stick around, guys. Skittles. Welcome back, everybody. It's time for game two. Ice 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 versus S4 in the 1v1 Championship here at TI4. We've got Ice 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 on the radiant side, S4 on the dire. What are these cheeky plays again? Both of them with boots first. But this one, much less room for error. If you make a slight error, you can't face shift. So that, that's a very big difference in between these two. So... Ice Ice Ice, I don't really feel like he made too many mistakes last game, um, except I think at the in the like the early early game, like the zero to three minute mark, he went too much for harass instead of CS, and he fell yep. too far behind because of that. But in this one, he can get afford to play Ooh, aggressively. Do they see each other yet? Shadow Strike's been leveled up. They're gonna battle it out. S4 got the first right click off. There's gonna be first blood it's before, GG. but My yes. Hand off the keyboard. <laughs> Who's winning it? This is where the RNG min max damage comes into play. Down. They're right clicking out. s has got the first hit. Ice 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 is going down. First blood GG. Before the creep wave even spawns.
Just that was cheeky. Little. Negative 20 <laughs> seconds. It's over. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Easiest cast of my life, boys. <laughs> well played, S4. Uh, I don't know what else to say. That was that was cool. It's not letting him call GG, apparently. You've got to wait for creeps to spawn. <laughs> the battle begins. I don't think I've ever seen something so ridiculous. I didn't even get the last hits up. Yeah, and this sort of thing, I think you just hold position, actually. Like, okay. there's, there's no use to... Um, actually standing around, but I, I, S4 did get the first hit off, so... Yeah, S4 is like, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Isn't yeah. this over? <laughs> but that does it, so uh, S4 knocks out Ice Ice Ice, the returning champion. Didn't get a chance to get to the SF versus SF. Didn't get a chance to throw any coal at his opponents today. But that does it. Uh, what's coming up next? We had... FY versus Resolution. Okay, FY versus Resolution, and then our final match is going to be... Moshi Ferrari. Moshi Ferrari, that's a big one. Those are two big names. As far as confused, he's like, do I gotta play this? Like, what's what's the deal here? I'm not sure. Ice Ice is just chilling in fountain. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure either. I think he. I think calling GG before creeps even spawned <laughs> is like something which like Valve don't have in the game. <laughs> I, I do not know at all. But uh, guys, it wasn't exactly a very long game. It wasn't I think very we can drawn just, out. We but... can just call it. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well played S4. I didn't. I thought that Ice Ice was. Uh... A little bit stronger going into the matchup, but S4 solid and steady as as ever. You just can't like look away for a second in these one v ones. Like you had <laughs> a Dendi and RTZ, the Quop vs Quop ended in a minute and a half. Uh, even the SF SF didn't go more than like four or five minutes. So so far, all the one v ones have just been fast, snappy, and to the point. So uh, we'll get ourselves into two more quarterfinals. Uh, once again, Quops, Pucks, and SF's going to be coming to play. Until we reach the semifinals, where we get Windrunner as well as Lena. I'm God's Dream is Merlini. Big thanks everyone for tuning in to the TI4 1v1 Champion.